welcome back. Uh, this module is all about techniques of integration. This particular module, a sequence of lessons, will talk about how to crank out integrals of various types in various forms. Our first go at this is with something called integration by parts. And integration by parts plays off of the product rule. It's a byproduct of the product rule. Now, you and I both know that there is no product rule for integrals. You don't see a product and go, oh, I do this times the integral of that, that times the integral of this. Uh, that's not, uh, th there's no such product rule. But we can use the product rule to help us break down some products in integrals. And we do this in the following way. We remember that if you take the derivative of the product of two functions, u times v, that that product is u times dv dx plus v times du dx. I'm not talking out of school. That's calc 1. So what if we were to integrate across the board. What would, oh mercy, yes. What if we were to integrate across the board? And then, and then better yet, let's make this the focus of the discussion. Let's make this all by itself. The integral of u times dv dx dx is equal to, kick that over, the integral of the derivative of u times v dx minus the integral of v times du dx dx. Well, wait a minute. dv dx dx, that's just dv. The integral of v du dx dx, that's integral of v du. And what's this? This is the integral of the derivative of u times v. Well, that's u times v. Well, it turns out, friends, that this line right here is the formula that describes integration by parts. And that's going to lead somebody to go, what? What do we even do with that? Well, here's the thing. If you're annotating in your notes, this is the integral we want to find. So if you have an integral that can be expressed in this form, then we bank on the fact that maybe this is easier to deal with, or at least not more difficult to deal with. That's the hope. If the integral of VDU turns out to be easier to work with, then we can figure this thing out. Uh, I will demonstrate with an example. Uh, let's find the integral of x sine x dx. Let's find that integral. So we recognize that part of this is going to be u, and the rest of this, including the dx, is going to be dv. So u is x dv is sine x dx. Well, if u is x, then du dx is 1, and that makes du the same as dx. If dv is sine x dx, then v is any antiderivative of sine x. Uh, turns out that there's no plus c necessary. Why? Because that plus C would get added and subtracted, and so we don't need it. 
So we apply the formula. The formula says that the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. So the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. Well, what is that? Minus minus is plus. Antiderivative of cosine x is sine x. And there's a constant. We can use integration by parts, which is a byproduct of the product rule. Gosh, that sounds weird to say. To figure out what the integral of this product is. I will demonstrate with one more example here and then do much more in another screencast. Let's find that. So again, we'll give this a try. Uh, we'll, we'll give this a try. Uh, we'll let this be the u part, because remember we take derivatives of the u part and derivatives of this get simpler as they go. Uh, this will be the dv part, whose antiderivative is not terribly difficult. So u is x squared, which makes du the derivative of this dx, and dv is e to the x dx. Well, what's the antiderivative of e to the x? Well, that's e to the x. So the formula says that the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. Well, in this case, that means that the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. So, back to the question from two slides ago. Is that easier to deal with? I don't know what it is, but is it easier to deal with? Yes. And so we run integration by parts again on this. We let the new u be 2x and dv remains e to the x dx. And then everything breaks down exactly the way you think it should. So this integral is uv minus the integral of v du. And that's very doable. And so we get x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x. The antiderivative of this is negative 2 e to the x, but it's subtracted plus a constant. That is how integration by parts works. We will do in another screencast a slightly more complicated examples and also how to do definite integrals this way. Hope this is helpful.